Today's video is a two for one. We'll start by giving the phone a way to revive using a powerful tool known as Jump Drive. Finishing with Mobian once we're done. The first thing you need if you want to flash the eMMC of your Pine phone is micro SD card. Now on this SD card I have installed something called Jump Drive. You're going to need Jump Drive. The second thing you need to do is put Jump Drive on that SD card. Over here on the PinePhone installation instructions on the official wiki.pine64.org website, we can see that the installations to install to eMMC using Jump Drive, you just have to download the Jump Drive image. Uh, you get the Pine64 PinePhone image if you're flashing to a PinePhone. And once that is done, you can either use Didi or Etcher or something like that to flash your SD card with that image. Once that download is done, you want to download a distribution that works on your PinePhone. For instance, I'm going to install the Mobian operating system. So I go here to the Mobian project, click this download button. We're downloading it for the Pine phone and I'll get the image. We'll save that. So what Jump Drive is gonna allow you to do is once you plop it into the SD card slot, when you boot up the phone and plug it to your computer, you will be, it, it'll expose the, the uh, parts of the hardware so you can flash the SD card again, or you could flash the phone, the phone's eMMC. Now I've had some issues where it didn't always work the first time. Well, it always booted Jump Drive, but sometimes it doesn't detect, my computer wouldn't detect anything. Now, first of all, to connect anything, your Pine phone should have came with this USB-C to USB, this one, uh, in the box and you want to plug this into your computer, front I.O. doesn't always work for me. So I suggest, if you're having issues as well, to try to connect it to some back I.O. directly to the motherboard. That solved the issue for me. So just get the back of your Pine phone opened up. I need to remove the battery to get access to the SD slot. Now remember, the top slot is the SD card slot and the bottom one is the SIM slot. So let's put it in its appropriate slot. Now, even if you did everything correctly, sometimes I've noticed that I had to turn it on, plug it in, unplug it, and then plug it back in before anything was popping up. Got a green light, so it's turning on. And this is what you should see if you did everything correctly. A little picture of your Pine phone with the wire connecting to it. So let's try plugging it in. And it seems that everything was discovered correctly. I can tell this because uh, everything showed up here. Now, to make this tutorial as simple as possible, we're going to use a very lovely program called Balena Etcher. Which you can download from their website for free, and you should get an app image. Just execute the app image. And you should get this. Five, four, three, four, a few seconds. <laughs> All right, we got it. I should probably verify the file, but whatever. So first we want to select the file that we want to flash. So I've selected the Mobian flash image that we just downloaded. Next, we must select a target, which is going to be the jump drive eMMC. 
which I currently have Manjaro on. Now remember, only select this because this is your, your micro SD card and you don't want to format that, you want to format your eMMC. And then we just flash. All right, the flash just finished successfully. Let's give it a try. So make sure to turn off your Pine phone. Open up the back. Remove the SD card and put it in a secured location. Put back the battery. All right, let's try our first boot. And we're in. Or at least we're booting. The password is 1234. And we're in Mobian. Oh, there's a welcome screen. Mobian is pretty cool. We have options here for privacy. We can either allow or disallow location services provided by Mozilla and also automatic problem reporting. We can link up our social accounts, our online accounts, which I won't do. And we can start using Debian GNU Linux. Gotta say, I really like this. Got document viewer, Gary, text editor, up. Ooh, we got some vibration. Let's save that. We select uh, where we want it. All right, so it doesn't always respond to my input, but that's okay. And it's saved. Got 2048 pre-installed. Runs very smoothly. So that's good too. I think something important to know is that the Pine phone is underperforming hardware. But a lot of these operating systems are designed with that in mind. Like, I mean, that's pretty smooth. And, you know, perhaps it could be smoother, but this is not bad at all. I've realized that, I've noticed that on the web, Video acceleration hasn't really been present, but playing videos locally has been quite doable. And so using something like YouTube DL, a little script that would download the video files that would then allow you to play them locally, uh, you could definitely watch YouTube videos, for instance, or library videos, since you can download the MP4s directly from library. I'm definitely going to have some fun messing around with Debian perhaps uh, writing a bit of software for it myself. We'll see how that goes. A little weather weather app. Let's see what the weather app is like. Yeah, I'm definitely having some uh, keyboard input issues. Well, cool. So we can see what the weather is like comes with Telegram, the desktop app, video player. I don't have any videos though. Sound recorder. Hello. This is a test recording of the Pine phone. Hello. This is a test recording of the Pine phone. Wonderful. The media buttons aren't working. The power button works though. Oh, it does work. It's just not displaying anything. Oh, oh wow. Now that's pretty smooth, isn't it? I did not know that there was a map program that ran so well. There's a night mode too. Oh, look at that. So can we look for directions? It tells you how to get there. Well, that's pretty useful. We got a file manager. Does the file manager work? Yes, it does. Oh, although it does still have that message, but eh, that's okay. I always like the Pine Phone screen. It always looks so clean. <laughs> that was a rhyme. 
didn't have a chime. Set up something with Geary. Uh, the flashlight works. It's a pretty good flashlight. You can get OBS. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it works, but uh, you know, it's still pretty cool. Phone's getting a little, little hot. Oh, did that crush it? I think that crushed it. Ooh, that's pretty slow. Let's not use that. What about Firefox ECR, ESR here? I opened it twice. We're going to Firefox on post market OS. It runs uh, much better. <laughs> what does she mean? Wi Fi worked. I mean, I can see the bars. There we go. A little advanced website here. Runs pretty good. Let's try another one. I always get Paw Patrol. Like, I heard it was popular, but like, that popular? So this is what people see the first time they're on YouTube? It's so different from what it looks like to me normally. It's not the worst YouTube experience I've had on the Pine Phone, but it's not the best either. And also I'm stuck in full screen. Let's say you want to program your very own C library. Well, as it's Let's say you want to program your very own C library. But yeah, I would say this is really solid, and the only concern I have, yeah, is that heat. I can I can really feel it right there. Definitely smells hot too. That's pretty strange and hypnotic. That explain why it's so hot. The usage is always at like ninety percent. Or wait, is usage? using up 90% this this program itself is using 90% of the phone oh, this program is pretty cool CPU and GPU are running at 53 ish degrees 54 52 to 54 degrees Celsius I mean it's Debian on a phone that's just so cool like that is really cool that's, ah, it's just so, I don't know, I never thought I'd be here, but here I am. And it's nearly good enough for me to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you for watching. It really means a lot to me. I've been feeling a bit down lately, so I hope that didn't affect the video too much. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next upload.